Y'all, we've been married for a week. One week. <laughs> One week! How you feel? Oh, you wanna do the video now? Oh, man. Okay, oh. we can. Yeah, we, okay. Where's Joe Waiting on Brendan. Brendan. Joe Hey, Sunny C. So, you guys just saw the intro of this video. What are we yeah. talking about? Uh, week one of being married. This <laughs> is legit. Uh, seven days <laughs> after seven days. our wedding day. One week. Mm -hmm. In the books. Lifetime. To go. Dun, dun. How does it feel? Uh, to be honest, it feels the same. I feel that way too. <laughs> it feels the exact same. But yeah. why do you feel that way? I don't know. I mean, because to be honest, I feel like I feel like we've been married since the day I met you. For real, for real. Oh! <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You gotta speak. You gotta speak, man. <laughs> It's the same. So, you know, yeah. the 16th was just like a, um, a, celebration. A, a celebration. Yeah, you know what I mean? It solidified to the state of Ohio and that, you know, we're married. But other than that, we've been married. I feel that way too. You know like, saying, so. we've been living together for about three years, mm -hmm. maybe three years, and we'd be together six in November. So, so it's probably been like four years we've been living together, maybe. Yeah, two here and then. Since 16. So, yes, four years. Yeah, Puerto, yeah, Puerto Rico is 16. You're right. Yep. It was 16. Oh, my gosh. Yep. Oh, my God. We've been, like, living together for four years. So, I mean, you know, just to live with somebody, like, learn them, learn how to love them, space, everything. Like, we've been doing it. So, yeah. Yep. Cooking, cleaning, who gonna oh, do man. what. Yeah. So, it's. Yeah. Okay, we just got legally married then, but we been, we, we been, been, been married been, for real. Been, been, been married. We been married for okay. real. Okay. So. Yeah, you know, so it, you know, like don't nothing feel no different. Like, mm -mm. and I think we also skip like that whole like the part where a lot of people like when like before they're married they don't live together. So usually like that first that first like year of marriage is like them trying to figure out each other and how to coexist with each yeah, other. Yeah, I agree. We don't, we don't have it. We already experienced that. You know what I mean? We already coexist, we already live. We, you know what I mean? Everything has already, has been together. Yeah, so, it been one. It was, you know, I mean, you know, accounts, money, all of um, income, all of that. Who gonna sleep on one side? What do you do when somebody break in your house? Like, dang, what do you, I don't know. Well, dang, you talking about that? <laughs> We gonna keep it real. This ain't no, you know what I'm saying? This is real life. Like, yep. you know what I'm saying? Our YouTube channel ain't no pranks. It ain't no, ooh, let me play a joke on nobody. Like, this is like real stuff. It's and real, yeah. yeah, and we want to share that to the world and just, you know what I'm saying? Give advice, experience, what to do, you know? Because everybody have like they ups and downs. But like, this is real. This Facts. is real. Black love is here, y'all. Absolutely. And it's here to yeah. stay. Here to stay. So this, everything you see, it ain't no stage nothing like this is it these like this is it these are absolute facts but yeah we learn how to coexist what we like what we do not like who's who you know what i'm saying who's better at doing this and who's not like mm -hmm. you know what to take over and yeah. it, we we did that early all the way early so ain't nothing no different y'all not for us at least yeah, for other couples it might be different but for us it's no different we, it's not. we doing the same thing we was doing before we you know what I mean for August 16th so yeah and it yeah we have yeah. so what advice do you have um you know for a guy who is looking to see if he's ready to make that step like what advice do you have I don't have no advice for you brother to be honest you're gonna know it when you know it really at that point I would say this is the best way to think about it what would you gain by not you know what I mean? By being with someone else other than the person that you already with, that you already spent your time with, that you spent your love with, that you, you spent time learning. You know what I mean? Like, mm -hmm. what would you gain by going somewhere else? Like, and if it's nothing, like, then, I mean, really at that point, there's nothing else for you to, to, to like hold up on, if that makes sense. Cause you know, it's just, it's, it's pretty much like, like how much time left do you have before you pop the question? So. Um, that's how I would look at it. That's how I looked at it. Really, it was kind of like I popped up one day. Literally, I woke up and realized, like, man, I really don't need nothing else. This is it. This is all. I don't need to go no further. And um, I called it a day. I was like, man, at that point, you know, I started, started getting my ducks in a row so I can make things happen. And that's what happened. So, 
That's all I got. That's all I got for y'all. <laughs> well, the advice that I would have for the ladies is I would say make your intentions clear from the beginning. I think um, when you get in a relationship, you should know what you want out of it. You know what I'm saying? Because a relationship, I feel, is like a partnership of something that you can give and something you can get out of it. So if you're giving love, you should be able to get love back. If you give support, you should be able, you know, mm -hmm. it's like a, a like teamwork. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, you can't make it to the top without the help of somebody else. So who would you want to be with like forever like who do you want your partner to be in life like mm -hmm. to cry on to laugh with to love with to travel with to experience things with like mm -hmm. who do you want by your side and you need to make those intentions clear with the gentleman in the beginning be like yeah i know we talking but my end goal is this mm -hmm. so and definitely continue to make those intentions clear because you don't want to get to the end and you wasted six, seven years and be like, he'd be like, well, I ain't never want to get married in the first place. And you'd be like, what? I wasted all my time. Like, you wasted your time. See, but at the same time, though, maybe not. Because, you know, there's some people that do go into relationships thinking like, man, I don't want to get married right now. But, you know, then after they spend that time, after you get to know that, that person, you get to love them and everything like that, that the man is like, or vice versa, that, 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 that the other significant other whatever um is wanting to do that because they see that with you like you, you taught them that you showed them that and they learned that and they were like man you know this is something i really wouldn't mind having for the remainder of my life and you something i wouldn't mind having for the remainder of my life. i know that baby <laughs> but you make them intentions clear in the beginning okay just uh, <laughs> no mm. let him know your agenda and apply that pressure mm. okay Cause we we gotta tell them the story about how we ended up in Alabama, anyways. Like how you ended up here, what that looked like, like everything. So we had to go into detail about that later. But it's you know, maybe, well, let's do it right now. Okay, forget it. So I was dating Carl. Um, I woke up one morning, like he said, and was like, you know what? I want to get my master's degree. Like this is something that I want to do. Mm -hmm. I wanted to stay at an HBCU. So in Everywhere I looked at, it was between North Carolina a and and it was between Alabama a and m And I got accepted at Alabama a and m So I told him, I was like, look, I'm moving. Like, you know, we're boyfriend and girlfriend at this point. I'm like, I'm moving. And he knew this. You knew this back in probably 2017, like a summer. Because I started school in January 18. So it had to be like summer and mm -hmm. I'm like, I'm moving. And he's like, well, that's not what I want to do. You know what I'm saying? What were you feeling like? I was like, man, I got a house. I got my, my work lined up here. Like I'm doing well in Dayton. Like I don't need to leave. Like, you know, you about to go down there. I'm like, well, if that's the case and we plan on staying together, like we can just do a long distance relationship while you're down there at Huntsville and I can come see you. You can come up here, come see me. Mm -hmm. And we can just meet up to live in North Carolina, like, and we just call it that. Thanks. And um, like Morgan and I had spent some time away from each other, and I, at that point, I was really like, "Damn, like, I don't know if I like this." And I really didn't like it. I, I was, it, it really, I didn't like, I didn't like like having that time away from. Her. Like, I really, really, really missed her. And um, at that point, I started to get <laughs> my stuff. Like, I started to get my ducks in a row so that I could prepare to leave. Because at that point that I realized that I missed her as much as I did, I was like, man, I need to, I, I'm about to, I got to be with my lady. Yeah. Because so. when I came down here to actually apply for apartment units, he was not coming at that point. Certainly was like not. it was me, my dad, uh, my best friend, Demaria, and my friend Alexis. And we drove down here, looked at apartments, applied for apartments. And my dad kept saying, what about clearance? <laughs> what about clearance? And I'm like, clearance is not coming. Like he's not coming. This is just a Morgan move. Uh -huh. And... That happened in February of 19? No, because we was already 18. here in February 19. February, February 2018, we drove down here. He proposed in December 2018. That's sure did. Mm -hmm. So, yep, and at that point, you know, we moved down, and the rest is history. I sold my place, you know what I mean, and just relocated, and I restarted. I took this as a, as a growing opportunity for myself, and it absolutely has been full fold for me. Being mm -hmm. in Huntsville, and I certainly appreciate the city. I, you know, I love this little city. I love you. You know what I mean? And I wouldn't mind staying, but my baby ready to go. 
So <laughs> <laughs> it's time to go. But making making your intentions clear, like you know, just by me saying, okay, this is what I want to do. This is what I want to pursue. Like I wasn't married to him, and I felt like I would have hated whatever would have came from that if I did not pursue my dreams and. I can say for you as a businessman and an entrepreneur, Huntsville was the best move that could have ever happened for you. Mm -hmm. That could have ever happened for you. So, yeah, it. I'm thankful for Huntsville. I, I certainly am. I'm thankful. Like, certainly am. Yeah, bye. But this is how we got here. And you know what I'm saying? Like, you know, it'll be six years, November 10th. And mm -hmm. I this is just a week of being married and a lifetime to go so if we can Absolutely. encourage anybody help anybody whatever the case may be learn from us this is yeah and feel free to, to 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 hit us up you know whatever if y'all need help please but you know we not we certainly not perfect but you know mm -hmm. we, we can help y'all through the things that we've learned in the time that we spent to, to help y'all move forward yes. if it's something that we can so yes more than more than happy to do that for absolutely and like people say communication is like key. Mm -hmm. you gotta talk it out like you gotta talk it out why are you talking like this okay. i know you're gonna talk it out, out. You're gonna talk like this but okay y'all stay beautiful stay black stay whatever you know what i'm saying stay <laughs> hispanic and beautiful stay white and beautiful stay black and beautiful stay asian and beautiful all of that all of that all of that be beautiful you and then make them attentions clear apply the, apply the pressure ladies don't apply too much pressure and then you're gonna push they're gonna press that brother away don't do it just like have the conversation like once every six months yeah you, you know you know how often you had that conversation once every one week my intentions yeah, were clear once a week my intentions don't apply that clear. much pressure my my intentions were clear brothers ain't built like me my, my <laughs> brothers ain't built like me now. <laughs> let me tell you something <laughs> a lot of brothers can't handle that pressure but me on the other hand i'm full, full court press i can handle the pressure you gotta say that you can do what anything <laughs> All right, y'all, so this is it. We're actually about to meet with Brandon and Wendelin um, here at date night. So, yeah, it's well, awesome. Date day. It's in the middle of the day. It's 2.30. Two, 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 two date day. Date day. We're going to meet them here for date day. So, you know, it, celebrate a, a year. You know, I mean, a, a week. A week. It'll be a year soon. So, That's yeah. All right, y'all. We love y'all. Make sure y'all like, y'all comment, y'all subscribe. And uh, we'll see you on the next video. That wedding video coming soon. soon. Very soon, soon. Soon, soon. Stay tuned. Ooh, 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 ooh. <laughs> All right, y'all. See ya. Fuck it. What's up? Monday. Sunday fun day, goddamn. <laughs> Invisible clean. Oh, shit. All right, yo, yeah. He said, I'll spill nothing in the can now.